Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Monday, July 13th, 2015, and we're honored to have with us Vasudeva. Watching Audio Tree Live, we're here with Vasudeva. What's up, dudes? Welcome to the studio. Uh, I crashed my old car and I bought my boss's car from it, and the only CD I had was uh, Life in Cycles. And then I had counterparts on Audio Tree Live, but listening to my own voice is like about the most unfun thing I can imagine. So I just kept it on repeat. Uh, so it's an honor to have you guys in here for sure. Yeah. Uh, would you go around and just tell me a little bit about the gear you're using? Um, you know, you don't have to tell me what each pedal is, but maybe a few of them that are more important to like Vasudeva's sound or whatever. Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, just a bunch of delay and distortion mostly. I mean, uh, this one has some sentimental value just because it was given to me by a friend. Okay, which one is that? 
Uh, he's actually, uh, he played bass in our band. Cool. A couple of years ago, yeah. Um, so that one means a lot. I can't play without it, really. It's on all the time, so. Sweet. Yeah. For you, man? Uh, probably this Keeley compressor. I realized uh, a little bit of a, it's quite a crutch, but I love it because it really evens out the tappy, the tappy stuff. Okay. You know? That coupled with the the blue sky, which I got recently, is just sure. like my jam right now. Evens it out in what sense? That it's not like so pitchy. Yeah, yeah, it just evens out the notes because you know you get a lot of like variation when you're when you're doing the tapping. It just makes everything kind of flush. Right. It makes it prominent. Right. Do you guys have a preference for the guitars that you're playing, or does it just happen to be what you have? Uh, this is actually like one of the first guitars I ever got. I just okay. got it because uh, I saw a bunch of people playing it. And I liked it. It's mostly I had a thing for SGs too, and. Um, Grant got his pretty recently just because he likes playing mine a lot. So I recorded like all of Life and Cycles on that guitar. So I okay, just, oh, on that one. I swag jacked. Him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah <he's, That's> cool <laughs> I like just that one better, honestly. Stole it from him. That's sweet. What about you, man? Uh, on drums, like, do you use anything particular? Or yeah, I mean, you have a decently small kit as far as things go, right? Yeah, yeah. I uh, I just got this anchor kit maybe two weeks ago. Like, cool. Right before tour. Pick cool. Pickups. Yeah. 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 It's a it's a big boy kit. So. Uh, <laughs> It's, it's kind of like hard to play just because my older one was much like smaller. Okay. Emo. Yeah. Emo. Yeah. I had like an emo kit. Okay. Uh, yeah. 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 So. Uh, uh, what's Anchor? Like a friend of yours or just a brand that you guys like a lot? Or? Uh, Anchor is a company out of uh, North Carolina. Okay. Uh, this guy, Sean Skipper, runs it. And um, yeah, he's, he's kind of a s still a small company, but uh, his drums are amazing. They're gorgeous and everyone should know them. So Sweet. Yeah, a bunch of a uh, bunch of bands have them. I think uh, one was in here actually, TTNG. Okay, they cool. Anchor drums. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that band's that band's amazing. Um, okay, why don't you guys uh, thank you again for being here. Why don't you go into your next track? Thanks so much for having us. Truly an honor. Thanks, man.
Audio Tree Live with Vasudeva. You guys can get ready to go into your next one, and I will say that they are on tour. They're playing the Beat Kitchen tonight. It starts at 8.30, a few cool bands before them, and then they're on that tour all the way through August 6th, planning on going to uh, record the new full length this fall. Um, Any other news regarding the new record or anything that I should know or that people should know? Uh, We'll be playing one, hopefully hopefully off of it uh, right now. So I guess uh, next song, actually.
Audio Tree Live with Vasudeva. Uh, one, one of the reasons that I love your guys' music so much is because there's like always a groove prevalent in it and it's really danceable, especially on the drums front, but it's definitely like, you know, really playful. I'm curious what kind of music you guys listen to because I can't imagine it's this mostly, right? Like uh, that, that doesn't seem to translate at all to me. A lot of that stuff gets really stale and you guys are so much more like lively than, I don't know, I don't want to say then tech metal, but you know. Yeah. Well, thanks, dude. Yeah, I mean, I feel like all of us have a lot of different influences. Um, these two especially are heavily into dance music, so okay. that's probably why it comes out. And we're all into just like open sounding stuff, ambient stuff. So I mean, yeah, yeah, just anything really. I mean, I don't think we have too much of a of a disconnect when it sure. comes to like musical interest, but you know, it keeps it interesting. So yeah. Speak, yeah, definitely groove based, rhythm based. Uh, yeah, we listen to like a lot of house music and stuff. Yeah, kind of, but. Who do you uh, like? I don't know uh, anything about that genre. Like, I don't know anything about house music, really. Dinka? <laughs> <laughs> it's a prog house. Uh, dude, who are you listening to right now? Uh, Mango. <laughs> yeah, I, I like a lot of old school, like, dub. And uh, I get a lot of rhythms from that. Okay. Like African house, that type of stuff. Um, yeah, uh, if you don't know Synchro, you should check it out. Okay. It's, like, it's, it's amazing. It's really good. Yeah. But, um, yeah, Maybe. just uh, the whole dubstep movement in England like really influenced me. Sure. So, yeah. Big vibes. Yeah, seriously. Big ups. Take it away, dudes, Wanting. when you're ready. Thanks, this is a new one.
Audio Tree Live with Vasudeva. Um, as far as guitars go, do you guys normally write the parts on acoustic first, or do you write them electric usually? Actually, for uh, our first EP, it was mostly acoustic, it seemed. Yeah. And then uh, just a little bit of jamming here and there. You know, I guess it tends to vary. Sure. It depends on, like, the vibe of the idea, or, I mean, some of them do just because we're hanging out and just writing riffs, you know? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes we're just jamming out full band. Wait, and then when you're on tour, I mean, wh where do you find time to write then? That's a good question. I think I'll let you know in the next couple of weeks. Okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after you're done with it, you can tell me if in, you in had any time. time you know, yeah. Downtime, friends' houses, maybe after the show. Yeah, we brought an interface and stuff, and uh, we have a lot of demos for the next record. Sure. Done, so we're probably just going to be listening to them a lot in the van. Yeah, I was going to say, probably more listening than you are actually playing, right? It's yeah. like trying to piece things together, Cutting saying that's fat, bad. Critiquing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, totally. Um, would you talk to me a little bit about that tour that you did with Tidesman? First time in Europe uh, as oh, yeah. the band? Oh, yeah. First time ever. Yeah. Um, what about crowds? Like, is there a. Is there a distinguishable difference between like a European UK crowd and a US crowd? Um, That's a good question. I mean, it's always hit or miss like during the weekdays, weekends type of thing. But sure. uh, the farther east you go in in Europe, it seems that like there's a scene that's just really starting to thrive over there. Okay. And, like it seems like these people really want to just come out and see live music, even if it's like not their type of music. Yeah. Still or someone up. they haven't heard of. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, we played there on a Sunday, but like the place was packed Sunday night and it was just like, it was awesome to see that, you know. That's really cool. Where did you guys go east -wise? Like, where did you stop? Um, Romania. Okay, cool. Yeah, Whoa, the yeah. We went. And actually, it was like one of the best shows we've ever played, surprisingly. It Whoa. Was really, really fun. That's sweet. Did people come up afterwards, too, and like kind of ask you about merch or, you oh, know, yeah, where you're yeah, from and stuff? Yeah, yeah, it was great. Stuff? And a lot of people spoke English, too, which was uh, stupidly something we weren't expecting. I yeah, guess. So. yeah, of course. Yeah, something you sort of can't prepare for, you know, the amount of people that will or exactly. won't speak English, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It was cool. Uh, we played like right in the shadow of Dracula's church, I guess. So Whoa. It was, uh, sort of interesting. A lot of vampires roam around those parts. Yeah, seriously, that sounds real. Did you play like your spookiest songs during the set? <laughs> uh, no, we should have. <laughs> Funny story about that, actually. We looked on the event page right after, and like some random dude, like we had to translate it and everything, and we're like, oh, Tides of Man, awesome, awesome. Vasudeva, little too happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true, I forgot about that. Transylvanian dudes, they don't care at all about happy music. It's all black. Just and... trying to bring some sunlight, man. Yeah, seriously. Come on. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, Tides of Man are currently watching, so uh, shout out to what them, boys? to you guys, Yo, and all that. What up, baby on? boys? <laughs> <laughs> okay, take it away, guys.
You've been watching Vasudeva on Audio Tree Live. You can check them out at uh, Beat Kitchen Unite on tour through August and uh, check their social media pages for updates on the recording this fall. Thank you, gentlemen, very much for Thank performing you. for Thank us. You so Thank, much. You, yeah, it was Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, All you guys. Pleasure. Really, really, really appreciate it. Thanks to awesome people in the studio and sound engineers, camera and lighting crew hooking it up, and viewers. Thanks for watching. Support the band by downloading the session when it comes out in a week or so and send a shout via social media to us or the band who just want to connect. From all of us here at the Audio Tree Studios, thanks for tuning in. Goodbye. See ya.